morning, Vanguard, and welcome to this edition of Nightly News. So, Nick, did you make a resolution this year? Yes, I did. Let's just hope I can stick with it. This is Student Code, where we break down the rights and wrongs of high school. On this episode, we check in on some of our own students' New Year's resolutions. Yes, I did have a New Year's resolution. Um, actually, you know, it's coming close to summertime, you know, I'm graduating, so uh, thought I'd work on the pumps, maybe start hitting the gym a little bit. You can tell uh, a little skinny, but uh, you know, we're getting there. Just started going to the gym. I feel like I always start the year with New Year's resolutions and then I forget about them after like two weeks. I tried to keep my New Year's resolutions to a minimum because I have like a proclivity for disappointing myself. I just feel like everyone's all like, oh, new year, new me, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, whatever, you're just going to end up doing the same thing you've done before. No one really changes in the new year. I think they're good if you can stick to them. But I think some people, like, they focus so hard on them. And then, like, they are mad at themselves because they don't follow through with it. Like, I think it should just be something that you try to do. But, like, if you don't, better luck next time. Having New Year's resolutions, it really helps the whole gym business. Like, I get so many people signing up the first month, so like, they're good for that. I don't really think they matter, honestly, that much, because a lot of people end up not following through with their uh, New Year's e resolutions and everything. I feel like if you if you can keep them, then they're really good, because you know you're trying to like like a new outlook on life with the new year. Not me, but everybody else. I wanted to stop drinking Diet Coke, <laughs> and then I was like, it was like. Like 11.59, I was like, no more Diet Coke. And then it was like 12.03 and I was like. Ch One year I actually wanted to gain more weight. And so I used to like buy dozens of donuts and stuff and just eat them. And people were like, why don't you just work out? I'm like, I'm too lazy for that, no. My mom always like, every year she's like, oh, we're gonna eet healthier. And then like we have one month where it's like a bunch of healthy food. And then the next month it's like slightly less healthy, but still like it's tasty again. After January, like, it gets better. My mom banned me from chocolate. So Savannah, how much do you know about America's history? Well, if Mr. Morrison is watching, then I know all 31 chapters. Let's take a look and see how much we really know about our history. What day was America founded? That's a trick question. I don't know the answer. It was discovered in 1892, that's how long. When was America founded? Um, that is a very interesting question. What day? Well, I believe it was Independence Day when they signed the Declaration of Independence, but I don't know when that was, was exactly. July 4th, 1776? July 4th. 1776. Who said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country? Um, I'd have to say Thomas Jefferson. Mm. Uh, George Washington. No, is that Lyndon B. Johnson or JFK? <laughs> JFK. Okay. The handsomest president ever, I forgot his name, Kennedy, said that I believe. <laughs> yeah. Or, or Reagan, maybe. Kennedy. Kennedy. Yes. Hmm, Bill Washington. Abraham Lincoln. You did. God. Uh, um, JFK. Yeah, right? that's what yes. I was gonna say. Oh my God. Good job. I was like, who's that guy? <laughs> and America bought the Louisiana Purchase from which country? I don't think it was any country. They stole it from the Indians. The USA. The French. Yes. France. Uh, France. France. What are the first three words in the U.S. Constitution? We are the people. We the people. We, uh, we the people. Sorry. That's fine. <laughs> oh, wow. You got me on that one. And how many branches of government are there? Four? Like ten, right? Five? 
supposed to be three, uh, but now we got four because like there's a special class or something like that. Special, special something. I don't know what they are. Yeah. Can you name the three? Name three. Um, Supreme. Um. Like the Senate. The House. The Executive Branch, the Judicial Branch, and the Legislative Branch. So, what is a national anthem? Our national anthem. Um, the national anthem is a song. Yes. It's the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, that song. Um, Star Spangled Banner? Yeah. Okay. Star Spangled Banner, right? It was written by Francis Scott Key. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. What do we call the first ten amendments of the U.S. Constitution? Uh, I have no idea. Um, I have no clue. The Bill of Rights. Oh, yeah, the Bill of Rights. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Emancipation Proclamation, right? No? Okay. The Bill of Rights. Bill of Bill of rights. rights. The Bill of Rights. Good job. Um, the Bill of Rights. Yes. Woo! Um, it's all coming back now. It's all coming back, is it? <laughs> oh, man. And I'm, I'm in a 98 U.S. history, too, so I can't believe I remember. I don't remember this, huh? Well, it's time for our commercial break. Don't go away. We'll be right back. I am a Florida 4-H state secretary and so what I do is I go to a lot of leadership conferences and I went to specifically one in Tennessee and it's called the Southern Region Teen Leadership Conference and basically 4-H groups from all over the south um, come together in Tennessee and we talk about what we've been doing um, in our states. And so the president of Kentucky came up and talked to me about how he had been working um, with this thing called Soul, Soul Hope and it kind of blossomed into this idea. So this woman had this idea of taking everyday items such as jeans, plastics, um, and tires and making affordable shoes um, that could be made over in Africa. All this material first is going to be shipped to North Carolina where they do a quality control, make sure everything we're sending them is, is the right stuff they need. And then after that, it's going to be sent to Uganda where first a tailor is going to work with it and sew all the pieces together into a shoe. And then it's going to be given then to shoemakers in Uganda where they're going to take old tires to make the sole of the shoe. the Vanguard student body can get involved. You can bring your safety pins and milk jugs and jeans, bring them all to Mr. Albon's room, and that would be a great help. So Savannah, are you and your best friend exactly alike? No, we are definitely not. Jordan Brown brings us the first episode of a new interview series, Opposites Attract. I'm Morgan, and I'm 5'1". I'm Madison and I'm six feet tall. <laughs> yeah, hugging is kind of uncomfortable. It's really uncomfortable when I hug a lot of short people. So I bet my hugs yeah. are I have to either stretch up or like go down to her stomach and it doesn't really work either way. I wish that I was a little bit taller just so that it was normal height. Not Madison height, definitely, but normal height would be good. See, normal to me is I mean, what is normal? Because like this has always been the height that I've been. I've kind of accepted that I'm this height and yes, I have to order pants online and yes, people will always ask me if I play volleyball. I can always give Morgan piggyback rides, but I can promise you the same does not work vice versa. I can't pick her up at all. I'm like a little bug compared to you. I don't think that our height affects our friendship or our view of each other at all because we just know each other as people. The first thing I recognized about Morgan when I first met her was her height because obviously she is rather petite. 
but as I've you know become friends with her, I don't remember our height difference unless someone points it out. Yes, I have been mistaken for her mother in public. I'm gonna make a really cheesy metaphor and say like in terms of height, we both definitely have a different perspective on things. I think I sometimes forget how tall I am and how intimidating I can be as a person and Morgan kind of softens that a little bit. I, I don't know, Morgan is definitely someone that I trust a lot and I don't, I don't know, I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> I feel the same. Eminem. Well that's all we have for this week, Vanguard. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for all of our latest updates. Have a happy Thursday.